Uh, it's been hard. I don't think I've ever gone more than a couple of weeks without seeing a movie in the loft uh, at, for the last 15 years, really. That's what people, to sort of heal their souls as they went to the movies in hard times. I think the biggest fear is what we're going to look like on the other side of this pandemic. Are we still going to have places like The Loft? We've been sort of watching the progress since February, just uh, tracking it and sort of it was like a thought in the back of our head, um, you know, what might happen if this came here. And then somewhere around early March, we uh, decided to take down our capacity and start doing some enhanced cleaning procedures. And then it just became more and more clear that weekend that um, the whole country was shutting down. Well, after the first week, I stopped crying. <laughs> uh, I did cry a little bit. I mean, it was just so shocking. The one thing that The Loft has done since 1972, which is show movies in a theater for people, is something that we had to stop doing over one weekend. So the entire business model flipped in one weekend. And that was very scary. As a, as a manager, it's really difficult to see the employees struggling. And um, that's been a really, really hard part of this whole thing is uh, not being able to keep everybody employed. The big part of the job that I love the most is getting to interact with our customers, our audience, our volunteers, our members. Do not despair, because tonight, I guarantee you, we are going to party like a bunch of beauty school dropouts. And like what your old granny used to say, it ain't no crime to have a good time. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of those people in months, and I really miss that. I mean, I think that the Tucson community in general has been affected by the pandemic just because we can't really gather much right now. And uh, the loft is one of the places that Tucson likes to gather. I'm really tired of using the word pivot. Like everyone uses the word pivot, but we learned very quickly that we needed to start pivoting to doing lots of other things in order to remain solvent. A lot of things that we never, again, would have ever dreamed of doing, like selling concessions curbside. Uh, we've just started our open air cinema in our parking lot. Uh, we've been doing private rentals of the theater, which has turned out to be very popular for small groups that are socially distanced in the theater. And the main thing that's kept us stable and sustainable is our is the community. I've been really concerned about the stability of the loft during this time because it's such a unique Tucson institution and, and I want to make sure that it survives. So when they started doing these outdoor screenings, we thought, oh, this is like perfect as the weather gets cooler and it's a safer thing to do, so that's why we're here. That feels like a very Tucson institution, that's why I think we want to support it. I like the communal aspect of it, of being able to share an experience so everyone's laughing together or scared together. Even if we've seen a movie before, like being able to be in a room where everyone's enjoying the same thing is just really nice. David gave us a call and said he has, he still had some tamales sitting in his freezer and they were going to start a curbside pickup and would we help him repackage the tamales so he could sell them? We said, sure. And we got bags to him. We got him, we actually got him a, a impulse sealer. And then when they sold out of their, um, the tamales that they'd purchased from us, we gave them several cases of tamales that they could sell um, at no charge. Yeah. I think they provide a really, really important um, benefit to the community. And we've got to do what we can to make sure they survive this pandemic. Yes. So while they provide so much to what we have in Tucson, they, they also do so much to bring in local purveyors. We actually donated um, some bottles and some closures from the winery to them. Uh, and we worked together with their team to design a, a special label uh, for loft specific wines that they could then sell to go with the new compliance laws for the, the closures. Nobody else is making these kinds of film community connections besides the loft. No. I mean, we're no public health experts here, but it sure seems like things are getting worse again. Um, so the, the virus is, is the biggest concern.
But the obstacles are just, um, you know, keeping it going until we can get back to normal. And, you know, we don't know if we'll ever be back to normal. I mean, I don't know what normal is going to look like. Uh, and it's just a really uncertain time. It's not enough just to be worried about what's happening here because the way the entire industry is changing is affecting our theater. And now we've got the open air cinema and that I think is going to be a big, a big boon to us. If we can get some more relief funding, that'll really stretch our, our timeline out quite a bit. We just figured that we would keep going until we couldn't go anymore. And um, that's, that's still our goal. So we've, uh, we've, we're looking at the long haul, realizing that everything's changed maybe forever in the movie industry and just trying to keep it going. For me, it defines the quality of life in Tucson to a large degree. To me, it sort of is the Tucson community. And it brings to this community um, so much art and culture that you cannot get from the big box movie theaters. It's not just about coming to see movies, it's about meeting people and just being a bigger part of something sort of artistic. There's sort of this creative buzz that's in the air at all times. It feels like home.